Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Tuesday, May 27th. You can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. Watch Dogs has finally launched today and so has the standalone companion app for both Android and iOS devices. You don't need to own the game in order to download and use the app. Watch Dogs CTOS mobile app allows you to interact with both console and PC gamers playing in the free ride and race modes. That game company has received $7 million to fund their next project. The investment comes from the company's private equity and capital today. Quoting from the company's website, With this new investment, our studio is able to scale up development efforts to focus on making the best game possible in the same spirit as Flow, Flower, and Journey. Nintendo is planning a revenue sharing program for Let's Players on YouTube according to the folks at Gamasutra. Currently, a YouTube video containing Nintendo gameplay footage would see its revenue split between Nintendo and YouTube. However, Nintendo is now working to have Let's Play videos share that revenue with the video creators themselves. The Evil Within has been delayed by two months and now has a new release date of October 21st in North America, October 23rd in Australia, and October 24th in Europe. Bethesda accompanied the announcement with the following statement. Shinji Mikami and his team at Tango Gameworks have asked for additional time to further balance and refine the game in order to deliver the polished, terrifying, pure survival horror experience they set out to create. The PS4 is headed to China after the country lifted its 14-year console ban. Microsoft announced they will bring the Xbox One to the Chinese market as well, and it will launch in September. It is still unknown when the PS4 will be made available. And that's our news for today. Join us again tomorrow for games industry coverage as it unfolds. Good night, everyone.